and we welcome this. to Jonathan we Martinez. Yes, in the house for a I change. know. Yeah, well, fun. welcome. You're in for Derek today. I'm in for Derek today. And this is the first time in the hot seat. I mean, I mean, uh, co-hosting. I can I know hot seat. I believe that to be the hot seat. <laughs> so I've been asked several times to do it, and for whatever reason, the schedule's never worked out. And this go round, kind of got suckered into it. And I'm like, yeah. I'll oh, do it. what? It's, 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 no, I'm just no, kidding. I, but I've wanted to. I've wanted to right. for so long, and finally got the opportunity to. So I'm like, all right, let's do it. So, but I do believe it's the hot seat. It's totally different than you. Right. I mean, when I made the transition to it is a little strange and yeah. we've talked to like a lot about that here on the set with Derek and I because mm -hmm. you know we're so used to such a scripted show yeah. and We're looking for scripts the and words are you know there's yeah. nothing he's <laughs> Jonathan said there there's no words she, where is she everything down and she's like okay this is where you go and, and there you go and you're on your way and I'm like okay all right. I know so. it's a little nerve-wracking no, but fine. you're gonna be great I we enjoy watching you on the weekends and it. you've been here since when 2015 okay so about five and a half six years now time flies it I, it's so crazy so yeah. I know no, I know, and I think we we may have worked together for like a week, and then I and left then in 2015. It. I think that yeah. was it. We're gonna get to know you though then, really well, but we gotta talk about something that is basically like taken over the internet, the new meme, right? It's the gift that keeps on giving. Right, it's giving me life. Hours. It really is. Like we are talking about, in case you guys missed it, you know, the Bernie Sanders, the inauguration, <laughs> how he showed up in these gloves. These gloves were made mm -hmm. from, the mittens were made from a woman by the name of Jen Ellis. She's a teacher in Essex Junk Junction, Vermont. She gave those gloves, those mittens to Bernie about two years ago and was really surprised that he started wearing them on the campaign trail. And they're uh, made from recycled and repurposed wood uh, wool sweaters. I didn't know that. I, I know. And, you know, the meme of him just sitting there has basically taken this. Classic. It is classic. So classic now. This is the one that made me think of That's you. That's the good one right there. That I hilarious. love that. And over in Galveston, of course, you're a Galveston boy. Yeah, B-O-I. Yeah. And, um, but this is like taking over the internet. I think I have one too, right? Oh, there's oh. Derek and I in class. <laughs> it's like sort of like, you know, taking a quiz on a Friday. Have you like, you know. Bernie made the appearance. There. Yeah. And then Orlando and I. You know, this is just a little dancing. He was there. Okay, let's see. In the background there with Derek right there. <laughs> Isn't that great? Funny. It really is. And Lauren and I just showering Bernie there. And I think we have one more. Do we have okay, one more? let's see. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Isn't right that there. good? Oh, look at Sion Sai Ai. She's like, what's happening? Oh, look, Bernie in the, the newsroom. Uh, and, and, and take a look at the, the little uh, mask there. I didn't realize it was upside down, but, you know, Bernie should have given me the heads up. I that, know. That Channel 2 KPRC was upside down. It's such the gift that keeps on giving. It, it makes really me is. giggle. Yeah. It's it, all it, over. It, There's even one for, like, Sex in the City, and they said we found the, the Kim Cattrall replacement, and it's nice. Bernie. Nice, it's him. Well, I saw The Last Supper. Uh, there's a Where's Waldo running around. Oh, to this day, I've still not been able to find him because it's a really massive really? picture and he's in there somewhere and, oh and i've my seen him like no he's not in there because i've looked for 10 minutes still can't find him but evidently he's in there if you okay. can find him in the where's waldo let us know and let's find out where seriously <laughs> okay so let's get to know you a little yes. bit more as we said you're a boi born on the island born on the island and your whole family's from there right pretty much everybody and everybody's still there in between galveston and texas city a couple in lamarck but uh, yeah i'm born and raised on the island that's me my mom and my dad right there oh way back i'm not gonna say how far back <laughs> And that right there is probably my favorite picture. That's my mom's favorite picture as well. Um, that's going to be my grandmother's restaurant there. We had a couple of restaurants on the island, so they opened up theirs. Okay. And we opened up, my parents opened up ours in 61st and Herds, and then we had another one in Texas City, uh, and it was around for several years, so it was something that I grew up doing. Uh, that was my dad there. He worked for the Sheriff's Department, and in fact, this is 96 in the Olympics. We went out there because we had a food booth. Uh, we were doing the fajitas and burritos and everything out there. Really? Was, so it was kind of in conjunction with the restaurant, yeah, but that was a big trip for us, and we made it out there to Atlanta. That's my mom there with her blonde hair. Oh, it's love it. It's any given day of the week, it's a different color. Well, that's no. what we do. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my brothers, and that's my extended family. That's my grandmother there, my, oh. my nieces, my nephews. Uh, and yeah, that, that's the whole bunch. That was Thanksgiving, I believe, two years ago, a year and a half ago. That is so great. And I love that because I saw this picture at Year of End Credits that we run every, all, uh, every year mm -hmm. where the, all the employees get to showcase their family in like a fun picture. Yeah. Um, but I noticed that your brother there is wearing a Chicago Bears jersey, I Brian Urlacher. Which one was it? Can we bring it back up again? Which brother was it? I don't know. Brian Urlacher. That's a Bears jersey. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, he's, a, he's a big, yeah. He's a big Chicago. He's a Cubs fan as well. And okay. I, I hold that against him. I think 
think growing up, I was also a Cubs fan too. I still kind of am, but obviously not before an Astros fan. Right. So yeah, he he likes the Bears. And that is Chicago. that's why I, I walked by and I saw that picture. Caught your and I said, eye. I, I got to ask Jonathan about <laughs> that. You don't see, you see a lot of Urlacher jerseys just not around here. Sure. And so gotta, I thought it was pretty cool that he had it on. Amongst us, I wouldn't be caught alive and in public <laughs> with him with that jersey on. So <laughs> I remember when the Texans um, played an exhibition game mm -hmm. with the Bears and they were here. I was pregnant. I can't remember which boy it was. Either one of the two, sure. obviously. And um, I wore my Bears, my Bears jersey Ooh. to that game. How'd that it was over? fun, mm -hmm. you know. The, the tech, it's fun. It's uh -huh. good stuff because we're not we're not ugly fans, you no, know. No, no, no. That was the only time I wore it, though, <laughs> you know. Did so you get any side it's an ex no? exhibition game. It's early <laughs> season, kind of sort of. I know, <laughs> but it's good but, stuff. That's great. Yeah, I love seeing all of your family and everything. That's really cool. And what I think is great too. How many marathons? Have, are, are you a marathoner or are you uh, a halfer? So no, I'm a marathoner, and, and I wasn't always a runner. So I. I started running just as I was leaving Arkansas and got that runner's high. Okay. Like, because I didn't have family in Arkansas, but everybody who's on the course, you become family. They cheer you on, fell in love with it. It was a super good runner's high, and I'm like, okay, I'm hooked. That was a half marathon that I did, and I was like, there's no way I can build up to a full. Did the first full, and I'm like, oh, this is even a higher high than that one was. Yeah. So I, uh, I did, I want to say, two or three marathons in a year and a half to two years ago. I decided that I was going to run a marathon a month for the entire year. And I got up to my sixth one, and at this point I was having to go to different parts of the country. Okay. Um, got up to the sixth one out in San Francisco, and the week before I messed up my leg. And, and I'm oh. like, oh no. So I, I'd gotten halfway to that point. Yeah. And, and it was for me just overdoing it. I played around sure. of golf with my buddies, and then went to Memorial for one loop, and I'm like, oh, I'll do another loop. And I was in my fourth mile, and something popped, and I'm like, oh. I didn't I go to know. the doctor. My resident doctor here in house is Justin Stapleton. Oh he also yeah, he's runs, a good doctor. So I always ask <laughs> him, I'm like, hey, it popped, but it doesn't hurt. Can I stay? He's like, buddy, Stay off. lay off of it. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, my so gosh. I well, I think it's great. Day. I'm only half crazy. I've only done half marathons. Oh, but um, one day, maybe I will. But I think it's really incredible it's um, that you run. I, get, I solve a lot of the world's problems on my runs, you know? <laughs> yeah. it just It's a good thing hitting the pavement. Yeah, 